Hello, my name is Matt Searles. I am a paramedic and a Unison representative for the London Ambulance Branch of Unison. Join us here today on the picket line at Southern House. It's 111, so I am a paramedic, but I am here today to represent my colleagues and, and uh, we're all standing together in an effort uh, to try and begin a conversation. A lot of people are saying, why are you taking industrial action? What, what do you want? How much money are you after? We're not asking for any money at this stage. We're not asking, no one's put a figure on it. We're here today, people have withdrawn their labour uh, across the front lines from the phones and on ambulances because what we'd like is a conversation with the government. Uh, it is ludicrous to the point of being almost comic that people should have to walk out of call centres, walk off of ambulances, walk out of hospitals in order to have a conversation with the government that are apparently elected to represent us and our interests. And more to the point, the interests, when I say us, I mean the interests of the people. I mean the interests of taxpayers, people who pay their national insurance, national insurance contributions uh, in London and across Britain. Prime Minister, you may have seen recently on the media saying that uh, the government are open to having a grown-up conversation with unions in, in a way that is offensive because it implies that A, there's already been a conversation and that that conversation was in some way childish or infantile. There have been no discussions, there have been no negotiations. The government have singularly refused to come to the table and discuss anything with us. And what that's left us with is a health service in dire straits. There are vast amounts of vacancies across all areas of the NHS because the best and brightest, most talented individuals are taking their labour and taking their skills and taking their passion elsewhere and going to work for private healthcare companies and as such our, our NHS gets undermined, it gets de-skilled and it's worse at treating patients. Uh, we are now seeing patients waiting a critically long time to have their phone calls answered at 111, at 999, and then a critically long time for an ambulance to arrive, and then to cap it all, arriving at hospital, and my paramedic colleagues and I waiting with them for hours in corridors because there isn't the nursing staff to clear the emergency department to allow our patients in. In most healthcare conditions, time equals health. The longer you leave it, the worse the, the worse the injuries and illnesses get. And we're at a point now where we've had to withdraw our labour and have industrial action in order to make our voices heard. And the only way we can get any kind of attention or discussion is by creating disruption. Luckily, our management are great at working with us, so we have not cost any Londoners their lives as a result of uh, our industrial action. Uh, we have given life and limb cover from the ambulance service picket lines, and should the call rate go above a certain level with 111, my colleagues here have gone in and will go in to answer the phones. Um, but ultimately, some of these guys here, their wages, their starting wages, are lower than if they worked across the road there in Sainsbury's. And given that they have people's lives in their hands, that just isn't right.